The summer of 2018, I was spending a week with my grandparents. And on the way, we stopped off at Camp Hebron to drop something off for Riley. And when we got there, Riley pulled me aside. I was like, Anna, there's a boy. I was like, OK, great, you know, whatever. And then she said, he has long hair, but we can't date, camp rules. But turns out she was crushing hard on a fellow camp counselor. Um, and one of the things that stood out to her was his hair. And at the end of the summer, Riley called me and said, remember Tim with the long hair? Yeah, I'm dating him. And four years later, we're celebrating your marriage. Today is significant. It's a lot more than about a pretty venue and pretty people. Because weddings are sacred. Weddings are God's idea. Riley and Tim have put a lot of thought into what they want to happen today. A lot of prayer into planning this ceremony. They want God's presence, His blessing, and the love of Jesus and His message of new life and transformation to shine through. After all, that's what this relationship is about. Faith and family and following Jesus. <laughs> I've been praying for you since the very beginning, and that was long before I even knew that you would be part of my story. So it's fitting that we met at a summer camp that we had both gone to as kids, but our paths had never crossed. Ironically enough, the theme that year was, write your story. We had a prayer envelope at camp, and before each week, you would pick the name out of the envelope and intentionally pray for that person over the next week. So before the week that I think changed everything for us, I thought, in my true fashion, I'm going to rig the prayer envelope. I'm going to pull that guy Tim's name. However, the idea of rigging a prayer envelope seemed really anti-Jesus. <laughs> and I figured I probably shouldn't peek. So I shuffled the envelope, pulled a random name with my eyes closed, and lo and behold, God had rigged that envelope before we even knew there was one to be rigged because I pulled your name. It's a slip of paper that I still have today, covered in scotch tape, which I like to think is the same as lamination, so we'll see how long it lasts. <laughs> but Timmy, it's my honor to pray for you, and it's a joy to pray for you, for us, and our future family for the rest of our lives. You do something so special to my heart, and I see life in a more compassionate, empathetic, and Christ-filled way because you showed me what it's like to lead a life with the Lord at the center. Not only did God provide you with a helper, a teammate, a partner, someone to stand with you, to support and encourage you and fight alongside you. Here's the even better news. The great news is that God is offering to be your third. The world is full of bad news. God knows. And he's made a deliberate decision to step into your world with good news. That's why he gave you each other. Can I run to her? <laughs> I'm so proud of you. I will honor your marriage. I promise you that. You that. Okay? Yeah. You have become quite the woman of God. Someone used the wrong ribbon on your boot in the air. It's okay. Right. <laughs> we forget that. It doesn't matter if they use the wrong one. It don't matter. It's fine. <laughs> it's I just great. can't wreck your... Uh, it's a different thing than when you like saw it in the store. Oh my gosh. Like, it is it's, it's really phenomenal. Is. You yeah. are magical. Thank you. Man, quite clean. <laughs> we'll keep chasing what we were meant to be. We can feel it. We're ready for anything. This is what we
to my sweet Riley. Today, I vow to give you myself, to join with you in body and spirit for the rest of our lives. In 50 months of being with you, we've been through hell and back together. And in that time, you've proved several things to me. You've proved your love for me, your love for Jesus, and your dedication to the things that you commit yourself to. You've also taught me many things as well. You've taught me more about love than I ever knew existed. You've taught me the power of grace and forgiveness, and you've shown me all that I can do, all that I can accomplish when I am supported by you, as well as all as we can accomplish when we come together as one. It's my pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce for the first time anywhere, Mr. and Mrs. Timothy and Riley Hartline. I vow to honor you, love you, provide for you, and protect you forever. And I promise, Riley Alexandra, until the end of time, I will never stop choosing you. I promise to pray for us always, to fight through the hardest of challenges, no matter how long it may take or potentially painful it may be. And I promise to love you with my whole heart and to strive to guide ourselves closer to Jesus with each day that goes by. Because Timothy Mark Hartline, besides salvation, you are the greatest gift I've ever received. I'm sorry I couldn't spend the six thousand dollars to get in here during World Series week, but Holy Smokes, got a good second. Wait. You make me wanna celebrate, celebrate. Did you have any idea that this is where you were going to end up the first time you saw this kid? <laughs> we were in the woods. I didn't think much was going to come from that summer. Yeah. And yet here we are in front of your family and friends, you pledging your life alongside his. You make me want to celebrate.